let me say the following. The real elephant in this whole conversation is what was identified as the winner take all and the inclusivity question. Now, Professor Adam Solo, I have confessed I'm a scientist and I'm a bit slow. I want you to explain to me in this proposal. You have said that in this proposal, we will have the president with his running mate, deputy president. They will win, uh, or we have candidates, they will win an election. And then the president will appoint the prime minister and the two deputies from the winning coalition. And then we will have the runner up being the leader of opposition. Now, no problem, it doesn't matter who it is. I have no problem. You know, let us not personalize, there's no problem. <laughs> now, the question, the question I'm asking myself, have we sorted out the winner to call question? Oh, is that so? So, the president from his side, like for example here, President Uhuru Kenyatta, I am here, Kimunya is the prime minister, uh, because he's the leader of majority. We have Jimmy Angwenyi, who is our deputy, as uh, an, a, a deputy prime minister, and maybe Maoka Maore as one of the deputies. So, what happens to the whole NASA brigade, together with Musalia and all these other people? I mean, and, and I am not saying, I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying, I want to be persuaded, and forgive me if I am slow, forgive me, there are so many Kenyans who are, who are, who are in my category. Are we together? Finally, on this inclusivity question, it is my humble submission that as we discuss inclusivity around us, the leaders, we must have a candid, open discussion on inclusivity about the millions of Kenyans locked out by poverty and employment. We must discuss how they are going to be part of the Kenyan society. That discussion we must have. And I want to thank uh, the young man, very good, and the bright, intelligent young man from Kitale, because he said that we should not bring 16th century uh, technology. And I am sure he was referring to the wheelbarrow. And I, possibly he was referring to me and this wheelbarrow. Cindy? Yes. Good. Now, the question I want to ask us, how come in the 21st century, a 16th century tool called the wheelbarrow, millions of citizens in the 21st century are still dependent on the wheelbarrow and mokokoten? That is the discussion we need to have. Yes. That is the discussion we need to have. And that discussion is a discussion that involves millions of Kenyans. Millions of Kenyans. Let me then say, as I conclude, that uh, the Honorable Kalonso Musioka, I am finishing. You know, I speak for millions of hustlers, so just give me a minute. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, Bishop Oginde said that the hustlers must stop the hustling. I have heard leaders here say that as, as we discuss this conversation, we must not have an us versus them. I have, also say, I have also heard leaders here say we must never have a conversation and a contest about the poor and the rich. We must never go there. And I believe we must never go there. But I want to remind you, good people, Abraham Lincoln, the 17th President of the United States of America, said, things may come to those who wait, but only things left by those who hustle. That is Abraham Lincoln. He was never talking about the rich and the poor. He was talking about the people who wake up early, the people who sleep late, the people who work hard, and that is the society we need to build. It is now my humble pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to ask His Excellency, the President of Kenya, to make his remarks, and thank you very much for listening to me. Asante Nisan. Thank, thank you very thank you very much